Okay, a little bit more of the electrolysis today, just to show you my setup again. It looks like this. So there's a third coil here. My other coil, the primary, is inside there, in the middle. And then I've got a pickup uh, third coil here, which steps down the voltage and steps up the current. Um, I agree with people who are saying that the oxygen is just um, forming an oxide layer on the other electrode. You can see the oxide layer here on this Allen key which I used as an electrode. You can also see layers on this piece of copper um, and this piece of copper is a little bit white and there's another piece of copper. This was pure copper which I bought online a long time ago. That's the original colour and this is what happened to two of them in two experiments. So it really depends on the metal which you use as an electrode. Sometimes both electrodes will give off gas and I assume it's oxygen and hydrogen being the electrolysis of water. Um, so it really depends on the metal you're using. I'm trying this now. Let's see what happens with these two. Okay. Okay. Both electrodes are going. Can you see? Both electrodes are giving off gas. It looks like, it looks to me like the one on the left is giving off more than the one on the right. I'm not entirely sure of that though. <laughs> it's not really very easy to see which one's giving off more but clearly oxygen and hydrogen are being given off there but if we use different different electrodes then sometimes only one happens let's it, only one gives off gas let's try changing the direction of the diode and see what happens now so we change the polarity okay let's try again Okay, both giving off gas. And you can see... Okay, now we have a copper electrode and one of those kind of very small screwdrivers. I'm not certain what material it is. <laughs> Let's see what happens now. Okay, here you can see only one electrode is bubbling. The copper one isn't moving at all. Whereas this one is bubbling nicely. Water's becoming quite cloudy. I can see a gas being released as well. It doesn't smell like chlorine. I'm using Epsom salts as the uh, electrolyte. Okay, let's try swapping on the diode. I like to see what happens with both polarities because sometimes the other electrode starts to bubble and it just swaps around the electrodes. Let's have a look. Okay, now we've got both electrodes bubbling. Can you see the copper is bubbling as well now? Both electrodes bubbling here. So it really depends on the diode orientation and the choice of metals. If you've got two similar metals, it seems to me with two similar metals you can often get both electrodes bubbling in both directions of the diode. And can you see how the water's changing colour here? It's already gone a different colour. And very, very fast. Okay, let's turn it off and have a look at the electrodes. Okay, very hot wires now. There we go. Just like our previous one. It's got a dark coating. Perhaps copper oxide. That's what I guess it is. That the oxygen's just combining with the copper. And forming a layer of copper oxide on top of the copper. This one on the other hand is fairly clean. because it's just been producing hydrogen gas. Okay, one electrode is bubbling. Both electrodes are bubbling, in fact. Let's now try with the diode reversed. Bad crocs.
clip so there we go and this one's falling in I'm trying to keep the metal out obviously I want just the carbon electrodes there we go in solution it's Epsom salts as the electrolyte again okay one's bubbling the other is bubbling too not as much though as this one so I assume that's hydrogen and that's oxygen see it's definitely bubbling there that one but not as much as that one okay I hope that's helped our understanding of this process